Hi guys, uh, today I want to take you through how to connect to a VPN uh, using the PPTP protocol which is point to point tunneling protocol uh, on your Windows machine. Uh, first thing we need to do is just get some details. Uh, you need your VPN username and password. Uh, you also need the IP address or host name of the server that you want to connect to. Uh, most VPNs have uh, dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of servers, so you'll need that address or IP address. Um, and it's good to know whether or not they support encryption. Uh, it's also good to know the password authentication protocol, which will be uh, PAP, CHAP, MS CHAP, or EAP. But uh, don't worry if you don't know those two items, because we can get around it with some uh, settings. Okay, so once you've got that, those details, uh, open your Windows machine and click Start. And then in the search box, type Control Panel. And then click on the Control Panel Desktop App item. And then you'll see an item there that says Network and Internet. We want to click that. And then click on Network and Sharing Center. Okay, there will be an item there that says Set up a new connection or network. We want to click that. And then we want to choose connect to a workplace and click next. Then we want to choose use my internet connection, VPN, click that on. Now uh, internet address, that's the host name or IP address. In my case it's an IP address, uh, but yours might be uh, example.com uh, or along those lines. Um, destination name, that's just a name for the connection, so um, I'll just put PPTP home. Uh, use a smart card, leave that unchecked. Uh, remember my credentials, leave that checked. Allow other people to use this connection, that's optional. Um, if, you, if your computer is used by other people and you want them to be able to use this VPN connection, then check that, otherwise leave it unchecked. Most of you will leave it unchecked. And then click Create. Now before we can connect there's a few settings we have to change. So with the Network and Sharing Centre uh, window open we choose uh, on the left hand side change adapter settings and you'll see your connection there just right click on it and choose properties and then choose the security tab and for type of VPN click the drop down, down box and choose point to point tunneling protocol. Uh, for data encryption Try require encryption first. Uh, if you can't connect, then choose optional encryption, but always try for encryption first. For the password protocol, obviously if you know what your VPN uh, supports, then uh, put in those details. Uh, if you don't, then choose to allow these protocols and have MS CHAP version 2 and CHAP version 1 there. Um, you probably want to leave uh, unencrypted password unchecked. Okay, so once you've done all that, click OK and click Yes to the alert. And now we're ready to connect. Uh, so we'll right click on the icon there and click Connect. Now, uh, for Windows Vista and 7 users, uh, once you click Connect, uh, the properties box will open up and you just enter a username and password and you good to go. For Windows 8 and Windows 10 I'll show you what happens. Uh, it'll open up the settings, uh, the new system that Microsoft's got, but it'll show your connection there. So just click it on and the boxes will appear and click connect. And then it'll ask you for username and password, so pop those in. And then click OK. And that should connect. Yep. Okay, so uh, hopefully that's what's happened to your connection, you're, you're now all connected up. Uh, if it didn't, if there was a failure, which often happens, um, go through the guide again, make sure you've set uh, all the options uh, to uh, match up with your VPN service provider. Uh, just a tip with, um, uh, if you're using a virtual machine, uh, you won't be able to connect until you change the network adapter to a bridge a bridged adapter. Okay, just a tip there. But uh, other than that, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll catch you next time, guys. Cheers.